In this video, we'll demonstrate how unemployment can occur when there are sticky wages in the labor market. Well, let's start with the labor market equilibrium. I have an upward sloping labor supply curve and a downward sloping labor demand curve. The label for the horizontal axis is the quantity of labor, and the label for the vertical axis is the wage, i.e. the price of labor. And let's label the original equilibrium wage W1 and L1. If a labor market is in equilibrium like this, there is no unemployment. The quantity of labor demanded, which is how much businesses want to hire, is equal to the quantity of labor supplied, which is how much people want to work. Everybody that wants to work gets a job and there's no unemployment. Well, let's suppose there's a decrease in demand for final products and services. When the demand for final products and services goes down, the demand for labor to produce those final goods and services goes down. There's a decrease in labor demand as a consequence, and the labor demand curve shifts to the left from our blue labor demand curve to this red labor demand curve. But we do not jump to the new equilibrium. If wages are sticky, then wages stay at W1. When we're away from the equilibrium, the quantity of labor supplied is not equal to the quantity of labor demanded. At W1, the quantity of labor supplied is on the blue labor supply curve, that upward sloping curve, which is at L1. The quantity of labor demanded on the red labor demand curve is at L2. The difference between L2 and L1 is the level of unemployment. The quantity of labor demanded is how much businesses want to hire. That is lower than L1, the quantity of labor supplied, which is how much people want to work. So that difference will be people that want a job that will not get one. Therefore, when the quantity of labor supplied is greater than quantity of labor demanded, we have unemployment. The level of unemployment is equal to L1 minus L2.